Hello everybody! In this video, I'll be sharing 10 soldering tips and tricks to make your job easier. While soldering can be a satisfying task, it's equally challenging due to the intricacies involved when dealing with these tiny components. In this series of short videos, I'll break down 10 essential tips that will significantly improve your soldering skills. But before we dive into the details, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell, assuring you never miss our future soldering guides and cool tech tutorials. Alright, let's kick things off with the first trick. Solder excess removal. While you can use a solder sucker, braid tape and special soldering iron tips to remove excess solder, consider using the solder sucker first, followed by the braid tape for better cleaning. Using only braid tape is an option, but it may be wasteful as good quality braid tape can be somewhat pricey. Hot air station Using a hot air station can make your job easier, but pay attention to how you use it. When reusing a connector, avoid direct heating as it can damage the plastic case. Twist the board and heat the area below the connector for a clean and unaffected connection. Soldering with solder paste While solder paste may seem easier to use than solder wire, be cautious about the quantity, especially when soldering with an SMD IC. Excessive paste can create connections between pads, requiring more effort to clean. Desoldering without a hot air station No hot air station, no problem. Take a braided cable, strip it, apply flux and solder to keep the wire warm. This technique allows you to extract the connector from its holes. The importance of flux. Use flux, it makes your job easier and safer by cleaning surfaces and forming strong bonds between electronics or wires. It removes impurities from the surface, preventing them from interfering with the solder bond. Desoldering an SMD capacitor is straightforward. Use flux, heat each side quickly, avoid excessive pressure of the iron tip to prevent damage to the capacitor pad. Heat both pads by swiftly moving the iron tip until the capacitor can be easily removed. Component name identification trick. If you can't read the name of a component, try this trick. Apply thermal paste, wipe off the excess and the name should become visible. Hot air station settings. When soldering a small component with hot air station and solder paste, be cautious about the airflow setting. Avoid a high airflow as it can blow away the component. Choose a low airflow to prevent this problem. Soldering an IC with many pins. Before soldering an IC with numerous pins, Carefully choose a good position and start soldering the pins from the corner. Once the corner pins are secured, you can proceed to solder the remaining pins. Replacing high power components. When replacing components used for higher power, ensure that you have a thicker iron tip. Apply flux to activate the old solder and while heating the component pad, Add more solder for efficient heating. That's all for this video and I hope these soldering tips and tricks will significantly enhance your skills. If you found these insights valuable and feel like you've gained some useful knowledge, don't hesitate to show your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Additionally, share it with your friends and fellow DIY enthusiasts who might benefit from these tips. Looking forward to our next soldering adventure together. Until then, keep those irons hot and solder on. See you in the next video.